Hey everyone, I wanted to talk briefly today about ethics in music consumption. Um, Chuck Berry died a couple of days ago, leaving at the age of 90, uh, leaving behind a legacy of music which is sure to affect most rock guitar players for the foreseeable future. But he also left behind him a lot of controversy, and this was kind of glossed over in some of the um, obituaries. I know it's been dealt with, um, but you would have thought that it might have been dealt with in more detail. Um, so, for instance, the Guardian dedicated what was three lines on a mobile phone to um, Janice Escalante, who was the girl that Chuck Berry was... Um, accused of trafficking, of um, tra uh, transporting across state lines at the age of 14 for the purposes of prostitution. Now, he was arrested under the Mann Act, and charged under the Mann Act, I should say, um, which was often used at the time to subjugate and victimise successful black men. And he, um, he claimed that he thought she was 21, he claimed he was just... Um, giving her a job in his uh, nightclub as a hat checker. Now, I don't know the reality of that situation, but um, allegedly she was fired two days later and launched a complaint. He had a, um, a court case, uh, a, a trial with a very racist judge who kept referring to people's colour. Um, and then he was retried, but he, he was found guilty and did two years in prison, which allegedly changed him hugely. He then, um, the other thing that sticks out for me from Chuck Berry is the uh, 1994 settlement. He paid out $1.2 million to 59 or 58 women who um, found out that secret video cameras had been placed in the ladies' toilets and um, he'd been videoing them using the toilets, apparently. Um, now, that never went to court, so we don't know what, you know the reality of that, but... There was a payout of $1.2 million from Mr. Berry. And, yeah, so that was settled. Uh, and I think we'll see a few more of these in the in the next coming weeks and so on. But it made me think. It made me think about how musicians who have done things... I'm not saying Chuck Berry has done anything, because I don't know the reality. Um, but, you know, the perception of the public might be that certain artists have done this or done that and how their music is treated. So if you compare, for instance, uh, Michael Jackson and Chuck Berry to artists in the UK who have been convicted, um, remember, um, Michael Jackson was not convicted. Um, there, there are a, a couple of artists, DJs and so on in the UK who have been recently been convicted of pretty horrible um, crimes um, involving children. Um and you think about their music. So there's one particular band that springs to mind who were popular in the early 2000s, late late 1990s. Um, and their music has vanished. It's not on the radio. It's not in the shops. Um, which is interesting because, you know, there are other people involved in this act and it, it was the singer who, who was committing those crimes. Now... It brings up a really interesting moral question. Should we be listening to that music or should we not? Should we be promoting that music or should we not? Is it appropriate to expunge it from the the, the, the records? You know, Is it a, a appropriate to destroy that art or, or hide that art because of the actions of the artist? Um, you look at Wagner, for example. Wagner wrote some pretty horrendous things about Jewish people and Adolf Hitler... Um, eventually uh, appropriated um, Wagner's music uh, for the Nazi party because he thought it sort of fitted quite nicely with his ethos. Um, but Wagner also had some Jewish friends as well. So, you know, that's a bit of a, a strange sort of conflicting character. But these things are not really taught in schools. We, we don't see Wagner and Wagner's art. We just see Wagner. Um, the British classical music scene as far as I know, doesn't really discuss the fact that, you know, he might have been a massive fascist um, and wrote things that, that attested to that um, text about his feelings on Jewish people. So I don't know which side of the fence I sit on. I don't know whether we should lose the, the wonder of the, the ring cycle just because 
he had these views. I don't know whether music that's been created by people who've then turned out to be criminals should be banned from the radio. Um, I think perhaps maybe it should. I don't know whether there's a, a temporal cut-off, whether we should have, you know, people... Classical music, music should be OK, but popular music, we should take into account the people who've performed it. Or whether we should say, no, this is the music, this is the artist, this is the art, let's look at the art for what it is, and let's ignore whatever the artist has done. It's a di tricky one. Let me know your thoughts. Stick them in the uh, comment section below. This might get a bit nasty, so... Um, you know, I can envisage people having arguments, and if it does, I'll turn the comments off. But I'd love to know what you guys think. I know it's a bit different to what I usually do, but yeah, I'm I'm interested. Um, let's have a discussion.